outside Washington, D.C. We just flew into Washington, D.C. We're driving to the Westfields Marriott. Tomorrow, the hotel's closed throughout the week into the weekend for the Bilderberg Group meeting. But we're going to check in the night before. They're going to kick us out tomorrow. So we're going directly into the belly of the beast. The hotel will be filled with at least five spy agencies, CIA, Defense Intelligence, Mossad, uh, European Union Security. We checked into the Westfields Marriott 48 hours before hotel guests were scheduled to be thrown out ahead of the annual meeting. The building was nestled in the heart of the military industrial complex with the National Reconnaissance Office and Raytheon just a stone's throw away. The plan tonight is to try to not get arrested, dodge the security, get in there, get some, some footage of the elite arriving in the morning because some arrive before they officially lock it down and then getting out of the building. Uh, that's our plan. I'm also going to be uh, getting a call by a uh, international uh, syndicated radio show, Coast to Coast AM with George Norrie, and all week he's getting briefings from me every night uh, about things as they develop. George, we're sitting here in the room. As the phone rings with your producer, Tom Danheiser, to put me on, the fire alarm goes off. Uh, so everybody is exiting the building. I know this is a setup. They timed it exactly when this happened. Open the door. I want to hear the fire alarm. Open the door. I want people to hear this live to the you know, 16 million people listening. George, do you hear that? Now, 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 they're going to use this as an excuse. The Westfields Marriott, right outside D.C. and Chantilly, they want to use this to flush us out of here. They're very upset. Everybody that covers Bilderberg, I was detained two years ago, interrogated, screamed at. They said Bilderberg was upset about me, wanted to stop us. Uh, this is guaranteed. Everywhere we go, we're followed. We have another hotel across town as a base of operations. They were there uh, questioning us, getting in our faces. We're being followed everywhere. I need everybody's support right now. I pray to God they don't try to set me up. They may have tried to concoct this as some way to say, you know, look, they didn't leave during a fire drill, assessing me knowing I would stay and do the interview. But again, the moment the phone rang with Tom Danheiser, uh, the moment the phone rang, the guys answered it, I'm standing there, the alarm goes off. Uh, it's going off right now. The guests are exiting the hotel out there. Of course, there's no fire. Uh, this is just absolutely insane. I noticed, too, that there was... Over 100 security people here today, but tonight we got back and it was a total ghost town. And this is what's insane. We have a security guy walk up to us 30 minutes ago, about 25 minutes ago, before this happened. And said, what are you guys doing? We said, we're just walking around checking out the artwork in the hotel, which we actually were admiring. But we were also going around getting some footage. And uh, you know, they said, well, no cameras allowed. We said, fine. And then he said, yeah, we had somebody do a fire alarm a few weeks ago. And me and Rob, my camera guy, were on. Why is he telling us about a fire alarm? I forgot that part, George. These bastards have done this. I don't know how they're planning to try to set us up or something, but this is incredible. We are here in the middle of this right now, George. Stay there. Keep it locked. Let's go. Let's get out of here now, Richard. Let's screw around anymore. We got out of here on exactly the right time. Is this the way out? Yeah. Five turns and the six turns, the same car's following us. Uh, now he looks like he's following us into a. He, he came out of Bilderberg, he came out of the Westfield. He's being a little bit subtle, but. Not too. It's 
There he is. That's him over there that in the blue green, car. Uh, yeah. We're headed back to the Marriott here in Chantilly, Virginia, the scene of Bilderberg 2008. We successfully infiltrated the last day and a half inside, got out with some great stuff. We've been tailed, and uh, now we're going back to cover the dignitaries, the elitist, as they arrive. And right now is the prime time for them to start arriving for the next three or four hours. We took about a 30-minute break. I'm sure we missed a few, but it doesn't matter. So we've got scores of people that just organically are listeners, info warriors that are out here taking action. <laughs> and we're going to be out here for the next three days while you try to chart the future of our destiny. We're taking our destiny back. You're not our gods or our masters. We witnessed at least seven convoys of armed secret service entering the Westfields Marriott, and internal sources confirmed that both candidates did attend at least one meeting inside the conference. While the Bilderberg Group was 100% successful in 2008 at keeping their name out of the mainstream media, they did not fare as well when it came to the exploding independent press. During the entire two-day event, anti-New World Order protesters and alternative media encircled the hotel. You are being exposed everywhere, from David Rockefeller, from John Edwards, from Bill Clinton. Your game of secrecy is over! You're going to play, get a game, it's up close, you piece of trash! You piece of trash! This is Bernanke, man! Bernanke, you're going down! Obama, we know you're here, Obama. You cleared your schedule for the next three days. We know you're in Virginia. Arch criminals! New World Order scum! We are not your slave scum! Brave Americans came from all over the United States and bullhorned the main conference hall at close range as the global power brokers schemed inside. The global elite are desperate to keep their organizational meetings a secret. They are keenly aware that if the population discovers that policy is being developed covertly by powerful special interest, the people will revolt. It is our duty to expose these criminals. It's a criminal act uh, under federal law for our federal officials to have private meetings to discuss world policy uh, with uh, non-federal uh, non workers. So everybody from the State Department, Treasury Department, 